What's up guys? Are you guys ready for this new tutorial? Today, we're gonna talk about the four key steps to create an amazing visualization in Power BI. But before we get started, please let's make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you don't wanna miss anything. All right, guys, no more talking and let's dig in. Today, we're gonna talk about the four key steps to create a great visualization. Of course, the first step is to get data. In this opportunity, we're gonna get data from a website. The second point, we need to clean data, we need to reorganize, we need to rearrange data. So in that way, it's easier for us to make dashboards or reports. The third point, we're gonna append queries. I'm gonna give you guys more directions on that as well. And finally, we're gonna create this amazing visualization. So those are the four key steps that we need to learn in order to create great visualizations. All right, let's keep going. As I said a few seconds ago, we're gonna get data from a website, this popular website called Wikipedia. So we're gonna get data for North America, Central America and South America. Now let's go to Google. So let's type right here, North America in Wikipedia. It's already there. Enter. Boom. Let's click right here on the first option. And then let's take a quick look and see if we have information here as a table. Bingo. We have it. So we have right here information. And then this information is good. So let's copy this website, control C, and then let's open the Power BI desktop window. And then right here, get data. Let's select web because we're getting data from a website, right? And then right here, let's paste what we have. Control V and then we hit OK and it's loading. Right here, we have many tables and we're going to select the first table, OK? Yep, that's what we need. And then we hit load. It's loading. It's already there. And let's change the name right here. So let's select this option and double click. Let's call this North America. Now let's look for Central America. Central America in Wikipedia. It's already there. Hit enter. The same strategy. Click on the first option. And then right here, let's look for tables. If we have tables, this is it. Yep, we have tables, so we're good. And this is what we need. The same strategy, control C, go back to Power BI desktop, get data from web. Let's paste this data, control V, hit OK. It's loading. And here we also have many tables, but let's select the second option right here, countries of Central America. And then we hit load, it's loading. Boom. Let's change the name right here. This is Central America, right? Okay. All right. Let's go back to Google and let's type right here, South America in Wikipedia. It's right there. Enter the same strategy right here. Click on the first option. Let's take a quick look. Yep. We see data right there. Countries. That's what we need. Control C to copy this website. Go back to Power BI desktop, get data. From web, control V, we are pasting this link. Hit OK, it's loading. We also have many tables there, but we only care for countries and territories, which is the first table right there. We hit load, it's loading. So let's change the name right here because this is South America, right? There you guys have it. We have information for North, Central, and South America. So now let's go back to the Excel document right here we already got data so the next step is to clean data and we have right here some directions okay so we are interested in country capital population and area we are also interested in adding a new column called region for each table we are not interested in null blank cells also this type of values right here. Let's keep that in mind, please. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop and let's start doing our job. Let's start working with North America. So now let's hit edit queries. 
edit queries, let's start with North America, okay? So in this case, we don't care about this. So right click, remove columns. There is something really important here as well. We can use the first row as headers. Basically go right here, click right here, boom. So it's better now, right? And right here, let's edit this part. We only need to have here just country. The second column right here, capital, we are good there. And then we need to have population. So we have population here, but only population. Let's edit this one right here. For area, let's add the units right there, square kilometers. We don't care about population density. So right click, remove. All right, so the order is also important, okay? The order should be country, capital, and then population. We move it to the left. And then finally, area. Remember that for North America, we only have four countries, okay? We will get there. But before we filter that, let's make sure that the area column, we only have numbers. And right here we have numbers and we have text as well. So let's fix this. Select the last column and then go to add column. And right here, select column from example, from all columns. So we're gonna do something really, really cool here. Because we only care for numbers, let's type 91. Boom, see, that's awesome guys, because we only type 91 and then this machine automatically detects what we're looking for. So this is great and we only care for numbers, okay? And let's rename this, this is area. Let's leave it area for now. After we made this change, let's hit OK. Ah, that's what we need, right? And right here, let's delete this column. We now don't care about text, okay? Remove, and right here, let's make sure that you add the units as well, square kilometers. So now, as I said before, let's use our geography knowledge. So we know that North America has only four countries, okay? So we have, let's unselect everything, and then we know for sure Canada is there. We also know that Greenland is there. What else? Mexico and the United States. Then we hit okay. Boom, we only have four countries in North America. Another very important thing here. So text is represented by ABC. So this is text, this is text. Population, this is number, okay? And right here, let's make sure that we hit whole number. And right here, area should also be whole number. It seems like everything is good now. Let's go home and apply the changes. All right, now let's go to Central America. All right, so this is very, very similar. We're gonna use the first row as headers. Boom, let's rename this. This is country. All right, so area should be square kilometers right here, population. This should be only population. We don't care about population density. Right click, remove. We care about capital. Let's select these two columns because we don't care about those two columns. And then right click, remove columns. So remember that the order is very important here, okay? Country, capital, let's drag capital to the left. And then population to the left. And then finally area is right there. All right, there is something else that we need to remove. Remember that we don't care about this type of information. Let's unselect this. Boom, now it looks better. Whole number, whole number, text, text. It looks better, we go home and then apply. Let's go to the final table, South America. So right here, the same, the same thing. We don't care about these two columns. Right click, remove columns, use the first row as headers. Boom, right here, rename the headers. This is country, capital, yep. Capital is fine. Area, let's add right here the units, square kilometers, okay? And then we care about population, but we don't care about the year, so let's remove year right here. We don't care about this column, right click, remove. Is there anything else here that we need to clean? Yes, so remember that the order is also important. Let's move population to the left. That's the order that we need to have, okay? So right here for area, same strategy that we use for North America. Let's select this column and let's go to add column. Right here, let's pick column from examples, from all columns. Now guys, let's use this awesome tool. Let's type right here, 27668890, enter, not yet. So let's do the other one, 1098580, enter, boom. That's what we need, right? This is awesome, guys. And now this should be area. Then let's hit OK. All right, let's delete this column. Right click, remove, and let's right here 
add the units as well. Square kilometer. What else? So right here, let's use our geography knowledge as well. Before we do that, let's clean this data. We don't care about this information, right? Hit OK. That's better. And then remember, country text, capital text, population, whole number, and then area. Let's change this to whole number. So now let's use our geography knowledge. For South America, we know for sure that Argentina is part of South America, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia. This is not part of South America. This is not part of South America. Total is not part of South America. And then we hit OK. Boom. That looks better, right? All right. Let's make sure that we have country, capital, population, area. We are good. Let's check the other one. Country, capital, population, area. We are good. Text, text. Whole number, whole number, we are good. North America, country, capital, text, text, population, whole number, area, whole number. All right, it looks better now, right? Let's go back to the Excel file and let's see what else we need to add. We need to add a new column called region for each table. So let's go back to Power BI Desktop and here let's add a new column for each table. Let's start with North America. Let's go right here to the last column, let's hit add column and then custom column. This should be called region, right? Right here, this is North America. Remember, remember that we need to use apostrophe here, okay? Because this is text. If you don't use apostrophe, you will get an error. Please keep that in mind, okay? And then we hit okay and let's see what happens. Boom, North America, right there. Now let's go to Central America, same thing. Now let's go to South America, same strategy. All right, let's go back to the Excel file. And now we are done with the second point, clean data. Now it's time to append queries. Why do we have to append queries? So the main goal here is to consolidate all countries in one table. It's so much easier for us to have just one table in order to make dashboards or reports. So the steps are very simple right here. Let's open the Power Query Editor and then Home, Append Queries, three or more tables. So now let's follow those directions. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. Let's apply first right here, everything. Close and apply. So in that way, we apply all the changes. So now, if we follow the directions, we hit edit queries. So the main goal is to create just one table, but we need to include these three tables in just one table, okay? So let's do something really cool here. Let's take a look at every single table and see which table has more rows, okay? So we have America, four rows, Central America, seven rows, South America, 13 rows. So we're going to duplicate this table and you will see why we're doing this. So right click and duplicate and then double click underscore and then let's type America because America is not just North America. America is North America, Central America and South America, right? But remember that America here is actually South America, right? We just duplicated and changed the name. but this is why. So right here, let's make sure that you are, you select this table right here, America. And now let's go to append queries. And we're going to do right here something really cool. We're going to put these three tables in one table and let's hit right here, three or more tables. We know for sure that America is actually South America. So it's already there. And then let's hit these two tables. Control to select multiple tables here. And then let's add, there you guys have it. Let's hit okay and let's see what happens. Let's hit continue here. Yeah, these are just permissions and let's hit right here, ignore privacy level checks for this file and then save. Boom, there you guys have it. If you guys see this table, it has every single country from North, Central and South America. Remember this tip here. You should make sure that each table has the same format and the same header. That's the main reason that I've been telling you, please, uh, let's keep in mind the order. Let's keep in mind the headers. Now let's organize this. Ascending. Ah, it looks better now. 
you have South America, Central America. It's very, very well organized now. After we have made all the changes, let's hit close and apply. All right. So remember that we created a new table right here and we put underscore before America. So the main purpose was to have America on the top. That was it. If you have many tables, if you put underscore, so that table goes to the top. So now let's go back to the file. We are done with this step, guys. Let's go to the final step, create visualization. This is the final step, and this is what we are looking for, right? So right here, we have some directions. We have to insert a table. We have to insert a map and also insert a slicer. So let's go back to the Power BI desktop and let's start creating the visualization. So let's create a table, hit the table right here. For this table, we care, but remember, we need to use America. Right here, we care for region. We also care for country and population, okay? And right here, we can make this a little bit bigger and let's select this one again. Let's go to format and let's check the values and let's hit right here 11 and then let's let's check the column headers let's put right there 11 as well all right just a little bit bigger and then let's let's also add border here border on so now we also need to add a map so if we go back to the excel file we need to we need to make sure that we select aerial style Let's go back to Power BI and right here, let's select this map and we care right here for country and population, country and population. Boom. <clears throat> Remember that if you want to edit this map, make this a little bit bigger. So select the map, go to format, and then let's say that we want to make the bubbles a little bit smaller. Minus 22 is fine. Okay. Uh, let's check right here, the title and uh, the background, let's select dark. And then for the font color, Let's select white. How about that? And then the alignment center. And then let's hit right here 20. For map style, we need to select aerial style. Boom. Awesome, right? All right, let's insert the slicer now. Let's click outside of the charts and then let's hit slicer. And right here, we care for region. We have three regions right there. And then let's go to format and right here go to general and then the orientation let's select horizontal let's make this a little bit bigger right there and then let's make this smaller ah now it looks better right what else select this slicer still go to format and then right here let's go to items and let's make the text size 14 how about that and then right here let's pick blue ah it looks better now let's make sure that we add right here a border also for this map let's make sure that we select border okay let's click right there and we don't care about this we're gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can read it better right all right guys that's it wait there is something else i want to share with you i know you guys want to learn a lot and i want to teach you this last Tip. So right here, so you can see the numbers, right? It's hard to read and let's do something about that. Let's go to data and right here, let's select America. So let's hit population and modeling and then right here, comma, boom. Same thing for area, boom. Now let's go back to the report and now this looks better. This is my last tip. If you want to save this document in a PDF format, what you want to do is basically go to file, export to PDF, and then there you guys have it. If you wanna keep playing with this tool, check this out. Just for South America, boom. Just for North America, boom. Just for Central America, boom. And then you wanna see for the three regions, click right there again, boom. There is something else that you can also do here. Let's select this map, go to format, and right here for map controls, let's select zoom buttons. Now you can see these buttons right here. If you wanna zoom in, boom zoom out boom yep you can keep playing with this awesome tool all right guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything thank you have a good day